Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. Xiaomi has upgraded its HyperOS interface to the next level with HyperOS 2. We've already seen a few phones with the new UI for review this year, so we're ready to compile all of the features that make HyperOS 2 stand out. So let's dive into HyperOS 2 and see what it's all about. HyperOS 2 doesn't bring drastic changes in terms of looks or layout. People who have used the first HyperOS, or even Xiaomi's previous MIUI, will find it quite familiar. By default, you get an independent notification center and control center, accessed by swiping down from the top corners of the phone. Previously, Xiaomi removed the shortcut to the settings menu, but we're glad to see it making a comeback as a quick toggle in the most recent builds. There's support for large folders on the home screen, which lets you organize your apps and still have their icons accessible with a single touch. HyperOS uses quite a few proprietary Xiaomi apps, such as the Gallery, the Music app, Mi Video, and the File Manager. And many Xiaomi devices feature an IR Blaster and have a Smart Remote app, which you can use to control various appliances with. You can either keep all of your apps on the home screen or enable an app drawer, which has a search bar and can automatically organize your apps into categories. The Task Switcher shows all of your recent apps, and you can choose either a vertical or horizontal arrangement for it. From here, you can launch an app into a pop-up window or as part of a split screen. The smart sidebar is an expandable menu on the edge of the screen that stores shortcuts. Apps launched from here will automatically be in a pop-up window. Google's circle to search has been implemented across all of Xiaomi's phones. And through the theme store, you can customize the look of your home screen and get new ringtones and always-on display styles. All of these features we've seen before, so what's new in HyperOS 2? First off, HyperOS 2 brings a bunch of under-the-hood changes and optimizations, which are supposed to improve the performance and security. Xiaomi has also developed an extensive connectivity system, which allows you to connect and use apps seamlessly across devices and transfer files and media. There's even full support for Apple devices. Another option is that you can connect your phone to a Mac or Windows PC, and then from the desktop, you can control the phone. Xiaomi has also added plenty of features that are based on AI. Only the higher-end phones have all of these features though, so make sure you double-check for specific availability if you're eyeing one of Xiaomi's mid-rangers. Behind many of these features is Google's Gemini. It's quite easy to call up and use the chatbot directly just by holding down the power key. The AI can transcribe audio recordings of dialogue and produce a summary of what was said. The AI is also great for translating between different languages in real time. You can find these translation options right in the quick toggles. There's also the call translation feature, which will give you text translation on screen while you're in call. And the AI can also generate subtitles in other languages on the fly for any audio that's playing. Unlike what you get from some other manufacturers, HyperOS 2 doesn't have a way to generate images from scratch. However, you can use AI to generate a dynamic wallpaper to customize your phone with. It takes forever to actually generate it, but eventually you'll get a moving image for your wallpaper, like a GIF. Also, there are plenty of AI-based tools for editing existing images in the gallery. You can expand a photo to different sizes and aspect ratios using AI to fill in the blanks. You can also use AI to erase unwanted objects from your photos and remove reflections too. And the AI sky function can change the sky to a number of different styles to change the mood. There are also plenty of AI writing tools which you can find in the notes app. These can help you polish your text or even create one from scratch or make summarizations for easy reference. In the end, HyperOS 2 polishes what we saw with the first HyperOS, and it also tries to keep up with the competition by adding AI-based functionality too. Let us know what you think down below, and I'll see you next time.